whoever invented these Taborita biscuits. And you know what? You're saving my life. On that note, we're at a camp in a pygmy forest. The sun is almost maybe 30 minutes from going completely down. Pretty special hike. Amazing. Yeah. Best campsite I've seen in the Philippines. Bar none. Absolutely. Zero garbage. <laughs> Absolutely no garbage. Yeah, like literally. and the, you know usually you see those little sachets yeah. in the ground or through the river. Here, zero. You right, Ben? <laughs> really cool, no? Yeah, it's raining. <laughs> I'm Refreshing. Wow! So amazing. I wonder, uh, just being on the edge of, uh, you know, of rain like this is just such a refreshing, beautiful experience. It's like rainforest. Yeah, and rainforest, pygmy forest. Beautiful forest. Good. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if the pygmy forest is the trees or this thing behind me. Man. I'm the pygmy. <laughs> I love your poncho, bro. That's awesome. <laughs> Legit. What do you got going on, bro? Eel. So there was water here, but we're lucky it's a bit dry. Dry. It's an eel. That's crazy. Man. What, are you doing, dude? what are you doing, man? Jeez. <laughs> what are you doing? What the? Dude, Erwin, yeah. Erwin, you win the award, the most hardcore. Look at this guy, dude. Legend. My bag's so heavy, like I'm feeling like really fainty. Oh. So, almost there. Almost there, bro. You're hungry too, eh? I'm starving. That's crazy. Well, we are burning. You burn a lot. This is a gradual, slow climb. So, and that big push we just had. This is so cool. We're really entering the Lord of the Rings pygmy field. Wow. Good job, bro. This one. Wait. Everyone's hungry. We made it. A pygmy forest camp. Sun is setting. We're gonna chill. Probably cook some food. Yes.
absolutely no garbage. Yeah, it's like. Literally. And the, you know, usually you see those little sachets yeah. in the ground or through the river. Here, zero. It's, it's impressive. That just shows you discipline, how that changes everything. Yeah, man, and you just feel like refreshed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, but steady climb, it's it's quite, it's not hard, but it's definitely steady. You got to be physically fit. You got to be eating. That's why Erwin's just trying to be crushing food. I ate night. probably like a thousand calories in the last hour because I was feeling like I was almost gonna. Post, yeah. yeah, literally every like hour, everyone's like, I'm so hungry, man. It's like, <laughs> you just told me that hour ago, I'm so hungry. You know, it, it takes some strenuous uh, activity to get out here. But anyways, we're gonna see what's going on inside there in a bit. I think they're gonna be cooking. I think it's Manok tonight. Set so cap. We're gonna lose light soon. Yeah, and uh, it's a beautiful track, a beautiful place, a beautiful area of the world. I'm excited for tomorrow. Yeah, man. Kumar, why are you walking with a tent into the pygmy forest? No, you can't pitch this without a uh, rain thing. cover. Ah. If it rains, then... Game over. Game over. This is motor me. Juan. How are you, boys? Adios. 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 When are you going to get out of here? Adios. Adios. Relax long? Oh. Nice one. Do you want to get out of here? has arrived and these guys are all legends they hike they look after the forest they clean they cook they're heroes heroes they nice saw and Tatai legend the legend he does everything, he's a legend. <laughs> Where's our plate? Yeah, here, 58 years old of glory. Right? Oh, yeah, this person's PSI. They gave us a plate a while. Yeah, where are the plates? Do you remember? I have them, I put them in the house fire bag there. Just on the right, I'll grab it. Oh, Kumar just swoops in. Hungry. Hungry Kumar, no more filming on the ET. <laughs> nice, man, nice job. Thank you guys. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Erwin, you look energized again. Good to go. Good to go. Good man. Ten hours tomorrow. Let's do it. So we're wrong. Yeah. Erwin! Where are you? No. Go make breakfast and then talk to me. Good morning from Hamagita. <laughs> I'm not making breakfast. <sighs> morning, bro. Kumar, how is Irwin's mocha? His is coffee straight. A coffee straight? How is it, Kumar? Honest opinion. Strong. Good? Nice on bread. It'll wake you up in the morning. Thank you, Irwin. I'm scared to eat, drink this because we can't see it. It's going to burn my lips again. <laughs> oh, I put too much Nescafe in there. That's mountain coffee. Woo! Mountain coffee. Woo! 
Nescafe. Oh, you made it. Yeah, yeah. Mocha, Brad. Mocha. Nescafe, Milo. Send those checks. <laughs> All right, these guys are cooking stuff. We're gonna go for a black mountain. Yes. Yes. I guess. Yeah. See you guys in about half an hour. It's kind of mystical here with the smoke. I like it. <laughs> nice one. Morning. <laughs> What's your favorite animal? A cockatoo. What is a cockatoo? Cockatoo. Look at this. It's a Philippine cockatoo. It's like one of the most endangered animals and you can actually find it here in Mount Hamigitan. There are 300 species that are endemic to Mount Hamigitan, eight of which are endangered and can only be found in the Philippines. Hey. So everyone, literally going up a creek. So dense here. Uh, everything is wet right now because of this environment. Uh, when you wake up in the morning, it's just damp, it's cold. Uh, but the sun is coming out and it's gonna be hot within a few hours. But we're just making our way to this little windy trail nearby camp. Heading to the black mountain. Wow, yeah, this is, this is really beautiful. Up there on the right, that's actually the summit of Mount Hamagitan. We'll be there tomorrow morning. Today we're exploring this area. Uh, actually, near the campsite and around the base of the summit, you can find a lot of unique stuff. And uh, today we're gonna show you that and we're gonna get to experience it. So, incredible feeling because since 2018, only 500 people I've come up here climbing, um, which is really, you know, a rare thing in the Philippines to be in a place where so few people are or go. <laughs> Do you agree, Erwin? Totally. Like, I'm just, I'm dying with my equipment right now. I mean, just look at that. Black Mountain, uh, when you look down actually, you'll see a lot of big black rocks and uh, all the way in the back there is Governor Honoroso and then looking towards the Davao Gulf. It is a stunning place to wake up in the morning. How how close was that to a Philippine eagle noise? <laughs> it's kind of ninety percent. Ninety percent. All right. What do you think, man? Maybe that's why they're not showing up. Jerry, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> that does not sound like an eagle. What does an eagle sound like? <laughs> right? No. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's more like that. That's, That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good, man. Really? <laughs> ah. uh -huh. Well, the moral of the story is, even if you don't see an eagle, you can always That's appreciate that they do exist out there, or hang out with Erin Yusuf and really feel it.
How is it, bro? Let me. Want on? Pants it in rice. Leon, <laughs> yeah, the the pants for champions. Is it pants and rice? Yeah, eat that pants and rice, bro. Double your carbs, man. Double carbs. Yeah. Let's eat. Woo! Pants and rice, baby. If Kumar does it, I do it. <laughs>